I had a conversation with On Your Side's Ken Amaro this week about the movement currently underway. And he told me his granddaughter, just eight years old, asked him, Papa, why are they picking on us? And I thought to myself, how do you explain all of this to a child? Well, it turns out there is a way. We reached out to psychologist Tracy Alloway, and she suggests using a method of questioning that includes what, why, and how. Take a listen. What do you think is going on? So it's important instead of a parent to give the child the script, it's important to let the child articulate what they think is happening. And the second thing I would say is why do you think this is happening? That why question is really crucial in helping the child have a space to talk about what they're thinking and what they're feeling. And then the third question that I would ask a child is how would you respond in this situation? Alloway says the how question provides your child with a sense of autonomy. So much is out of their control right now. The how question gives them back some control as they tell you how they would respond. And we're seeing kids getting involved in demonstrations as well. Here's the doctor's take on that. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. One of the things we do know is that, again, that our brain mirrors certain emotions, and it's very likely that her family, her parents, are very passionate about representing themselves, about creating awareness. And so this young girl is learning and mirroring the same kind of passion and being able to use her voice to represent that as well. So I think it's really positive that we are encouraging our younger generation to be able to express themselves in this way, to be able to express their own passions and their own causes. Now, as for your children being fearful, possibly about the demonstrations and the movement underway, Alloway says that fear is a learned emotion. So be mindful about the words you use when describing this current movement. Back to you, Katie.